Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Mercy and thank you so much for joining me on today's video So I wanted to give you guys a heads up that today's video is going to be a real session with Mercy I've changed the name up because I'm still playing with the name a little bit So it's gonna be a real session with Mercy today We're gonna talk about how I made it to almost 80,000 followers on Instagram within two months and I'm gonna just talk about frequently asked questions and I'm going to give you guys a few tips and tricks that I have learned with posting and being a social media influencer so far. So I hope you guys learned something. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe if you're new. Do not forget to subscribe and turn your notification bell on so you'll never miss an upload. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I also did this look on camera. So if you're ready to see how I achieved this look and to learn how I gained almost 80,000 followers within two months, just keep on watching. I'll see you guys in my next one. I love you. So in the beginning of this year, my Instagram was, and I'll put up a picture actually, I'll put up pictures. Um, my Instagram page was at 7,923 followers on January, January 3rd. So I was at 7K. I had told myself that I was going to take my Instagram seriously and I was going to be very consistent with posting. So I did that. I was like, I'm going to post every day if I have to. I'm going to post different looks. I'm not going to do, because before what I would do on my channel, on my, on my Instagram was basically like post the same look three times. You know how Instagram gives you three spaces, obviously three grids to post. I would post the same look three different times. Um, and then I would do that for like forever. So I was like, nah, I'm not gonna do this anymore. I'm gonna be posting whenever I wanna post every day. So yeah, I started being very consistent with my posts. I also started including Instagram videos. Like I had already started doing that in the summertime, but I wasn't like really, really consistent with it. Um, so I was like, all right, then I guess we're gonna get serious. Cause my goal for this year, I was like, yo, I'm changing my life. I, I stopped working in October. I stopped working my nine to five in October and I did not get another one. So I had to figure out how to start this journey towards making residual income. Because once you hit that mark, once you make it in this field, honey, like it's residual income it's not gonna stop like you're gonna see results like it's gonna be good like you're set for life if you're consistent and all it takes is consistency at first when you start you're not gonna see numbers even with my youtube channel i wasn't seeing numbers right away you guys it would take me so long to edit a video almost sleepless nights and i'm going to work and i'm not sleeping it's four o'clock i'm still editing i still have to wait for it to export and then yeah i went through a lot <laughs> i'm not gonna lie and you're not seeing the results you're not seeing the numbers yes i, I didn't prime because we're not really going anywhere so i'm just gonna use an oil but I wasn't seeing the results I, I wanted I'm like yo I just spent all night editing this video and nobody even saw it only 200 people saw it but what I didn't realize is mercy 200 people saw your video okay like 200 people you should be thanking God that somebody saw it you know what I'm saying so I started looking at things differently and I just Sometimes you just, and I tell people all the time, people ask me all the time, like, how do you stay consistent or how did you grow your channel? Like, how did you keep your head in the game? Like, you have to literally encourage yourself when you're working towards becoming an entrepreneur, when you're working towards becoming your own boss, you literally have to encourage yourself. It gets very extremely hard, very lonely because you can see yourself, you're working hard, you're putting in the work, you're not sleeping everything you're doing is seems like you're doing a lot but when you put out your stuff when you put out your work it seems like you didn't do shit because nobody's seeing it so you're like yo like what is even the point of doing this like i might as well just get my nine to five back and call it a day because at least that you're guaranteed a check you know what i'm saying there's a guarantee check at the end of the day with this honey <sighs> You play poker with life. You're playing poker with life. Like, it, it gets hard and it gets lonely and it's just hard and just freaking hard. Like, it's just hard, okay? But you have to stay in the game. For me, I have to constantly tell myself, Mercy, the prize. Think about what you're working towards. Think about that. Don't think about the 200 people that, the, the 5,000 people that you want to see your video that didn't see it. Think about the 50 million the millions of people that will eventually see your stuff. That's how I look at it I think about the millions of people that will see it because I know millions of people are going to know who I am I have to keep telling myself. I'm a very big on manifestation I'm very big on speaking things into existence like I that works because I am a believer, I have faith, I believe and I breathe and I breathe, okay? This concealer is mad light, holy schnitzel. Oh shit. So you have to keep your head in the game, basically. This is, the, the rules of the game is be consistent, do not quit. 
That's the rules. You can't quit on yourself because when you quit, you're quitting on yourself. Who's going to do the work that you need to do to get to where you need to get to? You can't quit on yourself because when you quit, you're quitting on yourself. Who's going to do the work that you need to do to get to where you need to get to? You know, like no one's gonna come in and be like, I got you sis, you don't have to worry about anything. I got you, I'm gonna upload all your videos for you. I'm gonna do up. No one's gonna do that. You literally have to keep your head in the game. Like you have to keep your head in the game. So with Instagram, I was starting, like I was at 7K and I was feeling myself. I was like, oh my God, I'm about to get to 10K. Like I have to do 10K worthy looks. Like I used to talk to my man all the time. He's so encouraging. I love that man. Um, and he would just encourage me like baby, we're gonna get to 10k in two days like I promise you so a little warning if you guys hear my nephew in the background he's being so annoying like bro but anyways he would just encourage me tell me I'm gonna make it just keep you know I just needed that voice of reason like just keep going keep going like don't stop whatever you're doing it's working don't quit now like you don't have a choice quitting is not even an option because you're growing so fast you just gotta keep going so I just kept going like I just was like I'm gonna have to change up my looks like I'm gonna have to start bringing out some colorful looks some colorful cut creases like I have to start doing something different like I was like I have to kick it up a notch because I can't be safe there's no more being safe anymore with Instagram you have to be very consistent Consistent as far as posting on your actual feed as and also interacting with your audience like replying to comments bro you need to reply to comments that all that interaction all that like liking people's comments commenting back posting and reposting people's mentions um, posting on your stories like all of that counts when it comes to like your overall interaction slash engagement charting you know what I'm saying like that all matters it's not really just about oh I posted a video and a thousand people saw it no like you need to make sure you're responding to people's comments you're connecting with your audience don't leave your people hanging don't just let people like yes it's good to like your people's comments but it's also very important to come like to respond to their comments like stuff like that and I had to like do a lot of research read a lot of blogs and see what people were saying like I had to do a lot of research like regardless I always reply to people's comments under my pictures under my videos but I just had to like make sure that no matter what like girl talk to your audience because they're the ones that are getting you these numbers you know essentially you're putting in the work to post but they're the ones that are watching they're your people they're your audience so you have to interact with them like don't just leave people hanging like I personally knew people who just never even bothered to comment back like they just never bothered to comment back to their um, followers comments so I mean to each their own honestly do what you gotta do do whatever you need to do but what I'm telling you as far as tips that's another tip that's tip number two make sure that you're commenting and interacting with your audience not only by posting on your timeline or on your feed but also posting on your Instagram stories reposting people's mentions um, liking people's comments replying to comments all that stuff matters okay trust me it all matters when it comes down to your engagement like your overall engagement and impressions that brands look for number three is being unique and creative like if you're a makeup page you need to have bomb looks like you're the way I look at it is the look that I upload today the one that I'm gonna upload tomorrow has to be ten times better than that like I have to challenge myself and sometimes it's hard because some of the looks that I personally create I feel like are the best looks ever every time I create a look I'm like oh my gosh this is the best look I've ever created in my entire life <laughs> you know what I'm saying like I pride myself in my work so I always have to keep up with myself like keeping up with yourself and your work is important like you can't keep posting the same look with different colors the same cut crease with the same eyeliner the same lashes like no honey you gotta keep it you gotta spice it up like for me personally like I don't want to toot my own horn and say I know how to do makeup but I'm able to switch it up there's certain people who literally don't know how to switch it up because they only know how to do makeup one way so that's that's like a different topic for a different day but as far as like me telling you how I I Mercy Mungai grew my Instagram, th these are the things that I had to put into consideration. So like making sure that I'm one upping myself. Like whatever look I create next has to be a banger. You know what I'm saying? Like it has to be a banger. Um, and from there I just started seeing numbers growing. By January 13th I had hit 10k. I think it was January 9th. Let me double check because I want to make sure that. Um, so January 3rd I was at 7,923 followers. On January ninth I was at 10k like I hit 10k and I couldn't believe it like I was like oh my god so I was on the top of the 
freaking world i was like oh my god i hit 10k like i have a k on my following like i was insanely shocked like i couldn't believe it so after that that was all the ammo i needed to kick start and just kick things up a notch because i was like bruh so after i hit 10k i was like all right <laughs> bet whatever i'm doing is working being consistent is working being interactive with my audience is working like everything i had decided to do was working so i was like all right i just gotta keep doing this and maybe add a few things here and there but this shit is working like you guys i was like bruh my life is about to change period like period so the for the fourth tip if you're a makeup page you need to start doing mini tutorials on instagram i kid you not when i tell you instagram videos have changed my life and they have kind of skyrocket like they have taken my career to another level because instagram videos get seen everywhere especially when you add the hashtags and everything like that oh my gosh everybody is looking at them brands are looking at them people all over the world are seeing your videos so it's very good for me especially for me who does like like these crazy intricate like cut creases and looks to have a video to go along with it I just feel like videos just make a difference so if you have a video to go along with that bomb ass look that you're talking about even better because people are gonna be trusting of you they're gonna be like wow she's actually good at this stuff because seeing is believing no matter what you heard or hear seeing is believing if I see somebody doing a look and I see them performing the flick of the wrist on those eyeballs from start to finish and actually and the look actually looks like what it looked like in the pictures especially because we're living in a digital world where everything is edited people will literally spend time on photoshop and they'll photoshop an entire eyeshadow look i've seen it i've seen videos of people getting caught doing that like literally photoshopping an entire eyeshadow look you know what i'm saying so when you're living in we're living in a digital world so it's very important for people to see you actually doing what you're saying you're doing you know what i'm saying so instagram videos number fourth tip you need to have instagram videos on your page if you want to excel and accelerate your instagram page and they don't have to be like the most amazing highest quality it just has to be clear enough for people to see your products for people to see you doing what you're doing you know what i'm saying it doesn't have to be anything special honey but of course quality matters like if you have an iphone you have equipment like if you have an iphone and some lighting or a window just film during the day and make sure your shit is popping as a brand the only thing I'm thinking about is sales so as a brand I'm going to go to somebody who's consistent someone who I know posts every day or every other day someone who is very interactive with your audience and if we're very interactive with the audience guess what your audience is going to trust your opinion I'm going back to my comment thing like interact with your audience don't just leave people hanging like don't just leave somebody somebody sometimes people like for me sometimes it's hard to keep up because now it's like I've gotten to the point where I get so many comments and I try my best to reply to everyone and sometimes I try my best to answer actual questions if I see somebody actually inquiring about something I'll respond to them rather than responding to someone who just put like a bunch of hearts you know what I'm saying not because that important that comment isn't important so when brands see that you're interactive with your audience they can trust you you're talking to them like imagine not talking to your audience at all and all of a sudden you're going on your stories hey guys I want you guys to buy this because no like you don't even respond to my comments like why should I buy something because you told me to buy it when when I'm always like it almost you don't want your audience to feel like they're kissing your ass all the time like commenting on your stuff you're not even acknowledging that they commented on your stuff like that is rude it's like indirectly rude you know like it's like mm, i don't have time i'm busy so i'm not gonna comment like no honey you need to respond to your audience so yeah i'm getting caught up in the audience thing but yeah instagram videos make a difference i feel like me making instagram videos has taken my career like that's why my page has grown like to be honest you guys my page has gotten to the point where i gain about 10,000 followers every single week okay every week i'm gaining 10,000 followers and i am predicting that by the end of march i should probably be at 100k which is crazy and you heard it here first but that is my prediction and that is my expectation and that is my goal that by the end of this month i will be at 100,000 followers and i'm very consistent like i have been extremely consistent even when i was sick i felt ill for almost a week you guys know that i was missing in action on youtube as well i wasn't posting here on youtube because i felt so ill like i was like something like what is going on like god do you want me to rest or do you want me to die like what's going on and i was still posting i was still trying to find like videos like flashback videos of old makeup looks that i had done just trying to keep up with my algorithm because i'll show you guys an example of i'll put up a picture right here and show you guys like uh, an example of my impressions because 
it had gotten to almost 3 million impressions within like set a seven day span that is what was keeping me going i was like yo like this is crazy brands look at this and that's how i was able to start getting brands coming to my dms telling me to do ads for them to do instagram videos like i've made some money just based off of instagram and doing like little collaborations here and there with brands you know so it's a really lucrative business model as far as like social media is concerned like it's a very lucrative choice of of a career like you when you there's no losses the only time you lose is when you give up on yourself okay and i know you guys thought i was gonna give you like this big secret no honey consistency i cannot stress that enough you literally have to be consistent you have to keep posting you have to produce quality content you have to interact with your audience you have to do what you gotta do like no one cares that you have a 50k five thousand dollar camera it's about being consistent my man always tells me like every success story begins with you have to be consistent do not give up on yourself i'm almost about to hit 10k subscribers on youtube i'm about to receive my first paycheck from youtube by the end of this month like a year ago this was not my reality like i'm getting emotional and i don't like getting emotional because it's stupid but i am telling like a year ago this was not a reality this was a dream i used to think about this stuff somebody paypaling me 400 dollars to do an ad like that was just a dream and now it's happening somebody pay just paying you oh can you please post this on your story i'll give you 150 dollars you guys if you can think it if you can dream it you can achieve it it's attainable it's very much possible i know where i want to be i picture myself every single day and i'm like yo this is where i want to be this is how much money i want in my bank account this is what i want to achieve in the next year that's tip number five i think we're at number five or number six set monthly goals weekly goals like it's not only it's not always just about like setting goals for like five years down the line no set monthly goals set a goal for the next week like what do you want to accomplish this week and people who say oh i work a nine to five and i don't have time when you want it bad enough you will make time you will find time you will go find time and you'll sit down at a corner and find time when i was working at my old job i used to bring my laptop to work i would edit my videos like i was doing all types of stuff to get stuff out to get these videos out like i was not playing around at one point they even brought it up like oh you shouldn't have your laptop i'm like boy if you don't get out of my freaking face you guys need me i don't need y'all <laughs> like but i got to the point where i didn't even care i'm like i'm going to edit my videos i don't care what you say so i brought my laptop to work almost every single day because i would film and then i would bring it to work edit and then try to have it up because i tried to have videos up every monday so i was doing whatever it takes so with dreams you have to make time you have to find the time if you have to buy it buy it because guess what mary from across the street is not gonna come over and be like um yeah don't worry about it i'm just gonna do it for you no worries yeah no <laughs> it's fine you don't even have to work no there's no one in this planet that's ever going to come and say they're gonna do anything for you and don't ever expect somebody to do anything for you you're very capable god has provided you with all the tools you need to succeed you just have to use them okay you have a brain research that's number six i don't know what number we're on but this tip this next tip is research a lot of people spend a lot of time under people's videos under people's comments just asking questions how do you do this what video what camera do you use how do i use my camera how do i bro google dot com youtube dot com i taught myself everything i know literally everything you ever need to know about anything is on the internet already you just have to type it out people don't want to take the time to type out how do i do this like how do you just want somebody to give you stuff you just want it to be handed to you oh this is how you do it this is the perfect camera that you need to get this is no it's so much more satisfying and so much more fulfilling when you are self-sufficient when you're able to edit your own videos when you're able to edit your own pictures when you're able to do and create your own wigs like so yeah i'm gonna spray my face now okay so i put my lashes off camera and it took so long like i don't know why this took so long like i said all these tips are what i use to grow my my instagram page right now i just checked my instagram page i just hit 76k um followers which is pretty crazy um considering that i just hit 70k at the beginning of this week that just ended so it's pretty insane and um yeah i'm very ex like this is exciting it's crazy um and it's just more that much it just gives you that much more drive to just continue going for your dream be patient with yourself i guess that's my next tip hmm. 
And this highlighter is a little blinding. Being an entrepreneur, it gets very lonely, especially because you have a goal in mind and everything you're doing sometimes doesn't seem like it's aligning with your expectations because you're expecting that because you put in so much work, you're expecting that everything is just gonna pick up and everything is just gonna start doing great. But no, like you have to be patient with yourself. You have to also realize that to whom much is given, much is required. So the more followers you have, the more work you have to do to keep them. At the end of the day, I'm not doing this for anybody. I'm doing it for me and my future. If you want it as bad as you want to breathe, you will never stop because you're doing this for you. <sighs> I'm just going to use um, this lipstick by Huda Cosmetics. Huda. You guys know Huda. She's a Kenyan female um, businesswoman. She recently sent me a few lipsticks from Kenya. Sis. She sent me lipsticks from Kenya. Can you imagine? So yeah, I hope this video was helpful to you guys because I just felt like I needed to do something different. You guys know I like to keep it fun and fresh on this channel, as James Charles would say. Um, let's see how this is gonna look. Ooh, that's cute. I like to keep it spicy. So that's why I wanted to do this little video for you guys. I hope it was helpful. It smells so good. Packaging is so beautiful. Oh my goodness. This is so pretty. I don't own any anything like this. Okay, so like I said, I hope you guys learned something. These are just a few tips that I could literally think of off the top of my head. I didn't have a list written down or anything. I just kind of went off of just thinking and going off of my experience so far. So so if I left something out, I'll definitely talk about it later on. But basically, the main key points here are like just be consistent, stay consistent, no matter what, do not focus on numbers, do not focus on likes, focus on your goal. Set a goal and see yourself getting there and do it, do whatever it takes, no matter what, to get there. Because you guys, like I said, this I, I don't I'm not working for anyone. I'm trying to be financially free, working for myself 100 percent and not worrying about anything. So with that in mind, I know that I have a lot of a, a lot of work cut out for me so I'm not gonna give up on myself now if anything the growth is my ammo it's my juice it's what keeps me going it's what lets me know that listen honey you gotta keep going you can't stop I can't stop like I don't have a choice and I know that I'm gonna get somewhere so amazing where I won't even have to worry about anything so yeah those are my best tips that I can give you as far as like how I got here how my Instagram grew so fast within two months like it's crazy so I hope this video was helpful um, let me know if you have any questions down below. Let's talk about it. If you have any tips, even for me, um, please leave them down below. Don't be shy. I haven't made it, guys. I haven't made it. I'm still the normal, regular, regular, shmegular girl. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in my next one.